Hey everyone, this is Ova and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last time we had Jebediah scout out the moon wave for us, at least for a limited time to stay. It seemed like a nice place. As so the next step, Danst and Carl Bertkirm volunteered to be the first members of the research outpost. Um, role play mode disengage. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, here we have the wave colony ship. It's a bit funny looking, but it kind of is a house structure rocket, so that's to be expected. <laughs> Um, I am using jet engines instead of uh, solid fuel boosters because of this fuel tank here. Uh, I think it looks really good as a heat shield. I mean, I try to make it look at least a little bit legitimate, not like, you know, smashing a house into the moon and expecting it to survive. <laughs> I mean, I guess it still is a little bit ridiculous, but man, whatever, it's a bit more space <laughs> engines sound like they're speeding up a bit now, so I'm just turning over a little bit. Actually this thing steers pretty well, I mean I had some other rockets that for some reason started rolling. There wasn't any reason for them, they were completely symmetrical, but it just did. <laughs> I never understood that, but yeah. And the SAS didn't seem to count it either. Oh yeah, now they're going. <laughs> These jet engines, they sound like they're about to blow up. Now oh, let's turn those off, I don't want to run out of here. Yeah, I'm shutting them down in opposing pairs now. So I only have two left. I'm just watching the intake here on the top right. That's only two. Still so much fuel. Oh, well. Um, let's just dump this. Still stable. Nice. Yeah, the next stage is about to drop soon too. There we go. I did turn on those little engines on the top as well, just to get me out of the atmosphere. You can always just transfer the fuel from the back to the front again later.
Well, we're in orbit. Time to have a float um, around the building, whatever. <laughs> um, uh oh. Okay. How do I orient him towards the craft? Oh god. <laughs> I think that might have been a bad idea. I think it's still spinning too, that doesn't help. Alright, um. Yeah, I saw one of the. What do they call Lander can set not enough crew. That's because both of them were in the same pod. Does that actually mean it doesn't apply any torque? I'm not sure. Oh, I got him in. Didn't even have to go on the ladder. Sweet. And expanding my orbit a bit more. Doing the burn to jewel in several bits. And again. Alright, there that rocket goes. It lasted me longer than I thought. Right now I'm gonna have to undock this. I actually put a docking port there so I can um, have rovers dock to this later on the ground. Alright, this was our final pass. Now, off to Jew. Almost a year later in the Kerbal Solar System. Wow. Hmm. Oh, nothing broke. Okay. Well, so much for the introduction. Um, anyway, yeah, one of the engines flamed out there for a second. I'm not sure why that was. Well, anyway, um, it's been almost a year, well, in-game time, uh, that I sent off uh, the colony ship, and it's about to arrive at the jewel system right now, and I thought, why not? Okay, that might have been a bad idea. Mm. I explode. Oh, there's the shadow. <laughs> Uh-oh. Everybody follow the instructions that create the launch pad. Ah, mm. <laughs> uh, right. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, 
I'm gonna construct another space train to go to the fuel system. I'm just gonna include a space plane, this drive section, and something else. The dock in the front. I'm not sure about yet. Hmm. I was thinking about landing on Val. I've sent a satellite there already, so. Hmm. Looks interesting as well. And there's still the outer moons, but. This thing is kind of overkill, it has a lot of fuel on the top. Yeah, I'm just drawing the fuel from the top right now. Um, well, I think it helps with the center of mass, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, anyway. <laughs> and just in case, I do run out of fuel. I still um, have the fuel lines feeding down. Don't want the rocket to just fall back down. That's staging. Yeah, I'd rather have to send up a refuel than to have to do this whole thing over again. other ones together as well. Oh well, let's see how we're doing. Yeah, that looks good. I hope firing rocket exhaust against those orange tanks doesn't violate the safety procedures. But I doubt it. Okay, 100. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm gonna need a second to think. I, I have just a little bit of fuel left in those tanks. So I don't really need to keep all of them. I could just drop them in imposing pairs again, right? Just, you know, I'm transferring the fuel into the other ones. Yeah, there's a lot of fit in there. I think. Yeah, I think the yeah the top ones are drained as well. That'll fit. Just gonna have to get this done before I reach the apoapsis. Wait, which one was it? Uh, right. Oh, eighty kilometers. There. And same 
thing here. Alright. So these are full. Now wait a second, this one and then Oh ninety four kilometers. Um wait what do I have to do? Yeah, I hate having a time limit. <laughs> um yeah, I think it's fine. Right? Yeah, we keep this one and then yeah, this one. Oh, come on. Gotta be careful with those nuclear rockets as well. Pounds they have on the side, they're like pressing a self destruct button. Alright, there we go, get away. And stay. What the fuck? Okay. Let's see if we can get rid of them without blowing everything up again. That's going that way. And... Bleh. Okay. Yeah, go that way. Alright, I'm gonna have to get into orbit now. Or else I'm gonna start falling down. Um... Let's see how works. Nice. Uh oh. No. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. fuel. Oh yeah. How about the front is to need mostly I think. Alright, in orbit. Nice. I'm going to have to bring a fuel up here. Next time that is. So, thank you for watching everyone, and see you all later.